Okay, I'm making this little video. First time I've had use of a tripod, but I want to show how I made this miniature TARDIS from the components I have here. I'm going to first demonstrate how it opens up. And there are usable drawers which you can pull out and put any tiny little things in there you'd like to do. And it closes up and it's been designed totally to be a TARDIS. Uh, the little police light on the top is made from an opal bead and a blue glass bead which I have wired to the inside of this portion. Now, what I did was I started with matchboxes, this kind of matchboxes. And as you can see, I emptied them all into a bag and I've used 24 matchboxes. And what I did was I did them in small groups, groups of three, where I would take the drawer out and line the drawer with some paper that I got from um, some gift bags that I cut open. Bought, bought these gift bags at the Dollar Tree and removed the handles, cut them open, and made paper. Um, so I, I cut this little liner and glued that in place. And I used this, uh, let's see, Stampabilly's acid-free ink pad, and I chose the navy blue. There's other blues also, but I thought this one was really closest to the TARDIS. And it shows up pale on the outsides of the uh, little drawer. I also inked the tops and glued paper to the front. I took stacks of three and glued them together and waited for them to dry. I used Aileen's Turbo Tacky Glue because I like to use the wet glue instead of expensive tape. Okay. Um, a lot of things were inked to um, improve the tone, such as this mat board, which I got at the Hobby Lobby. And when I cut pieces to size, you see there's, there's white on the back and white on the edge. So I would ink those pieces and not let them be white. Now I did use regular white cardstock for the windows and for the interior and had my son print out these little things that say police public call box and it takes four of them because there's one on each side of the top of the TARDIS and these extremely tiny things that give instructions about how to use the TARDIS and this little St. John's insignia thing so I cut those out of the cardstock and glued them onto the doors I used, obviously, a ruler. I marked it off so I make sure I cut things equally. Use my scissors, just ordinary scissors. And Crayola con colored pencils because I didn't want to try to paint really thin, fine lines here in the windows. Those are very thin lines. So I did them with colored pencils and as you can see I cut out pieces of 
um, the matting board, which I got in the frame department at the Hobby Lobby, and uh, framed every section in. And I've altered the sides. Um, I only have one panel deep instead of uh, two because I wanted it to stay in this size. I didn't want it to be any bigger. Normally, the TARDIS that you see on Doctor Who would be four equal sides. And when you've got all of these matchbooks, that kind of decides how you're going to construct it. Um, besides the Aileen's Turbo Tacky Glue, when I was gluing the base and the top, portions on after I made the wrapping that fits here. I used some of the, oh, did I bring any in with me? I didn't. Um, it's the, I think it's called 6,000. It's a little tube of glue that's extremely strong because I wanted to make sure that the top and the base were secure. And you can even see some of the details of the bag that I used on the bottom here, if I'm not casting too much of a shadow on it. Um, anything that had a seam, I inked it so that it would look good. I also used uh, either blue or white acrylic paint in a few different places. Um, the doorknob, well, handle, is actually uh, gold glass bugle bead which I wrapped in tape and then cut in half with my wire cutters and kept the most stable part. One half was fairly crushed which is a good thing to use tape to wrap it on there. Um, and I glued that on and a gold jump ring I used for the keyhole. Now Holding things together during gluing time, uh, drying time for glue, I used plenty of clothespins. Um, I don't use a heat gun to dry glue. I don't have one. I don't want one. I like to do things without a whole lot of electricity being involved. And like I said, I do use a rubber band for securing things in place while they dry. Um, it works better when I have get to the second stack of, of three because this is a big rubber band I got off of my celery from the grocery store. Anyway, that's my project. I am planning to make a second TARDIS. This first one has the details of little circles on the white background like the very first TARDIS and the drawers you could put earrings in them you could put little um, game pieces like if you collect those really tiny Doctor Who's uh, those are really excellent places to hide the small parts like the little um, sonic screwdriver or any little things that you might have to put in there. Alternatively, it would be really great for keeping small parts if you make jewelry because you're, you know, it's if you do like me, you're fumbling always for jump rings and head pins and eye pins and if you have 24 little drawers, you can really store a lot of little beads and little findings. Um, so that's one use you could think of to use it for. You could uh, put it up just as a decorative item. Whatever it is you think you like. Now the, um, I, I had considered putting a magnet inside of here. But I have to say I'm inexperienced at adding magnets to things. Um, if I come up with a good way to do that, I might try doing that in the next one that I make. But uh, that's the first one I've ever made. 
I was inspired by somebody else's video on how to do altered matchboxes and I will try to include that person's information in my comments as well as my Etsy page in case somebody wants to buy this. Um, it took me, oh gosh, almost two weeks to make this because I have a lot of other things going on in my life. You know how that is. And I'm disabled, so I have to watch how much time I'm sitting in a straight back chair. Um, so I do this and then I go watch TV or I go do something else. I come back to it. The glue's dry. I just go on to the next stage. Whatever you do, if you're an artist or a craftsperson, keep making stuff. I mean it. Thanks for, for watching. Please share it if you like it. Bye-bye.